Dans une interview donnée aux échos, Thierry de la Tour d'Arthez, le PDG du groupe Seb, parle de son groupe comme le dernier des Mohicans en Europe. Nous allons voir Per Rasmussen qui s'occupe de la filiale Japon pour voir comment la marque Tefal évolue sur le marché japonais. We do indeed see a lot of consumer needs changes or behavior changes. Um, it's not all because of the financial crisis. It's a lot because of demographies, especially in the senior group, uh, where people uh, now live longer uh, and without their children. So we have many senior people living together, being in very good health, very active, and also at relatively good wealth. So they are quite happy to spend. Unfortunately, the last year or so, because of the financial situation, We do see other changes, which is that people are getting very reluctant to spend, uh, not only on purchasing uh, goods, but also on entertainment and eating out. Mm -hmm. uh, for our company, uh, reluctance to eat out, of course, is a business opportunity, because we are selling the appliances that you use when you cook at home. Mm -hmm. We also see changes uh, induced by a higher awareness, again, uh, towards uh, ecology, the environment in general, mm -hmm. so everything that is energy efficient, everything that is recyclable, mm -hmm. uh, is getting a very high attention from consumers, trade and also the press. Mm -hmm. It's important to understand that we, we operate in two very different areas of business. Mm -hmm. We sell our products under the Tefal brand, mm -hmm. but we work in cookware industry, mm -hmm and we work in the electrical appliances industry. Uh, cookware is a very old uh, category in the market, it's saturated, and there are very few uh, foreign or, or even local brands. So there we work very much on reinforcing the values of the Tefal brand, the qualities of the Tefal brand. But the market itself is very stable, uh, and what we see because of the stability in the market and the consumer's reluctance to, to purchase, The retailers focus very much on their own private brands, typically imported from China and at very, very low prices. Mm -hmm. So we see deflation in the market. Uh, so we are fighting in a flat market where you see strong price deflationary trends uh, and that has made very, very difficult market environment for us. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, on electrical appliances, uh, we fight against the national giants like Panasonic, mm -hmm. Toshiba, Hitachi smaller uh, specialized manufacturers like Tiger and Sojiroshi uh, who have Japan as their core market. They have very little export of their kitchen appliances. Um, they are though, most of them focusing on the audiovisual industry mm -hmm. and not so much on the kitchen appliances. What we are trying to do then is a global appliance manufacturer mm -hmm. where we have a very very large product lineup available globally, we try to cherry pick what we have available and find consumer needs for products and then do new categories. We are with the Tefal brand a mass uh, market consumer goods company. So our points of sales are in general all uh, the mass uh, retail. In France you would typically mention Carrefour or Auchan. Uh, they don't exist in Japan but we have the Japanese equivalents in Toyoka to Daiei, Josco, Uni and so. Uh, in terms of electrical appliances, uh, it's Yodobashi Camera, Big Camera, Yamada Denki, Deo Deo, Midori Denka, all of these big chains. We have them on top of that since uh, 2008. Started our own outlets, Tifal outlets, uh, in some, uh, in today's seven premium outlets, big outlet malls in Japan. Uh, and that has proven very, very successful. Uh, today, uh, more than 5% of our total sales come from just these seven stores. It's very difficult to find out. Uh, outlet retail industry is still very new in Japan. 
uh, and as long as I think manufacturers or brands keep the number of stores at a reasonable level, mm -hmm. if you're careful about your geographical location, uh, so far it doesn't cause really a big problem. What, what we are trying to do in order to, to grow our business uh, is really to look at new products, new product categories. And I put a couple of them over behind you here. Uh, to the very left you will see an electric steam cooker, which is a completely new product in Japan. Japanese people do eat steamed food, but mainly at restaurants. And through research we found out that they appreciate steamed food, they know it's very healthy, but they don't do it at home because it's very troublesome in the old-fashioned way. Uh, so we have come up uh, from our international assortment with a product that is very easy to use, very quick and fully automatic so that people can enjoy steamed food healthily at home. Mm -hmm. You don't need any gas, so it's very safe. Mm -hmm. And it's automatic, so while it is cooking, the housewife can do something else. Mm -hmm. um, we started just a year and a half ago in retail exactly at the same time as the Japanese government started their, uh, their Mitsako Taisaku, their campaign against obesity. So we got a lot of PR. Uh, and the first year has been very, very successful. We have sold more than 200,000 pieces. So that's completely new business to us. The other product I put up there is a kettle, which in Europe is something we've had the last 20 years. We put that on the market in Japan five years ago. There was no market for electric kettles. Uh, people were using these very big jar pots that I think we're all familiar with from our offices in Eastern. Um, but through research we found out that it's too slow. Uh, people find that it uses too much electricity by keeping the water warm. Uh, you throw out a lot of water because you don't use it all. And it's old water from yesterday. So there's a lot of emotional things about it. Uh, and when we came up with a product that can boil fresh water just like that, people are going away from the jar pot. Today the market for kettles is more than 3 million pieces. Five years ago it was zero. So that's the way we try to work, to do completely new categories in the market. While we see in the Japanese press that the Japanese major manufacturing companies are doing better, uh, it's all export driven. Uh, and this improvement in the financial indicators does not seem to filter down to the micro level of the economy, it doesn't seem to filter down to the consumer, and we do not see any improvement in the negative consumer sentiment. Uh, it'll be very important to see what salary increases will be when we get to April, and it'll be very important to see what bonuses will be in the summer. Um, some of it is very emotionally based, I think. Uh, for many people, it's not an actual current financial problem, um, but they're concerned about the future, and everybody are concerned. Uh, it may be, and I hope so, that a good, a good result at the World Cup in the summer may change people's mind a bit. Uh, a little more open, a little more positive. Thank you very much. Thank you.